Okay, so basically um, I work in the Peninsula area, so I work for BSF, which is Building Strong Foundations, which is part of NIANG, and my role is to look after, um, so when the babies are born in the hospital, my job is to contact the families and um, make that first initial home visit, yeah, with the Child and Family Health Nurse. So yeah, it's very rewarding. So part of my role as Aboriginal health worker, I get to work alongside my mum, um, who is Bev Kane. Uh, mum is an admi admin officer with Nyang, um, part of Amos and BSF. So yeah, it's deadly that I get to work with mum a couple of days a week and get to catch up on the job. Well, I've been working with the hospital, first of all, for five years. And then along came Jesse working in the hospital and my son also works for the hospital. So it's great to see them, um, you know, be out and about in the community. Um, I'm a wardsman up the hospital there at Gosford, um, uh, PSA they call it now. Um, yeah, I've been up there for about four and a half years now. And people talk up about them and um, also my sister also works for health and my cousin also. The Kane girls who do work in health, I've grown up with them all my life, so they're like my sisters. So the main thing is that we have a great connection. Um, we're a very strong group, and I hope it keeps going on. Well, I think we've created it by, this was something that was been in the making for four years. So with two years of sort of organising and planning, and then just having our local families drop in, and then by word of mouth, it's just created something that's gone from having two, three families, five children, to probably 14 families, 25 children. So I think the word of mouth and just making all our families feel comfortable, um, it's not just our mums, it's our nans, it's our carers, it's our dads. It's, yeah, it's just something I think with the ongoing support with Department of Education, um, the Aboriginal health workers and our volunteers that come in and help, it's just made a family playtime something that works. Um, I'm proud of that I am a strong Aboriginal woman. Um, I am also a mother as well. I've raised twin boys on my own. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm proud that I get to work in my community where I live with our Aboriginal families. I guess being a single mum for a long time and raising twin boys on my own, um, I was able to sort of come into this job as that single mum and learn a lot of ways to better my parenting as well as having my mum and my aunties sort of show me how that's done. Um, but the best thing about it is being able to work in my community and be a role model for our younger generation and also for our mums um, and our dads that come to Mingaletta. Um, and I think the best part about it all is that I'm able to work with my family as well as my mum and my auntie and um, yeah, just go to work every day. It's just like being amongst my family on the rolls. I love the job because um, it's local and it's to do with health. And it's good to see the little ones growing up, you know, from babies up to five and going off to school. That's the main thing. And yeah, and seeing the mums, you know, progress. You meet a lot of different people up there at the hospital and, um, you know, um, yeah, sometimes, you know, there's a, there's a few jobs that we do that, you know, that makes you feel good and, you know, you're there to help people and stuff like that. So it's a bit rewarding at the end of the day. Making a difference in the community with um, BSF because the ladies come in with their children and they get their immunisation and their health checks and then that can lead on to coming into playgroup, which is morning tea and learning craft and it's full of learning. You're here for a couple of hours and we've noticed from the beginning there's only been two or three families coming and now we have up, at least up to ten families. And so you can't go wrong with that because everyone's going to go home and say where they've been today and it's been here, Mingaletta, and it's a fantastic playgroup. A success story that I can think of over the last five years is probably um, a family that's probably worked really close with Nyang, um, as in probably this family had lost their children, um, were in, put in foster care and then um, yeah we just worked closely with the carers of these children, um, provided playgroup, immunisations, developmental checks 
to make sure that these children um, stayed on board and then the parents um, were slowly able to reconnect with their children again over a period of time. So yeah, I think that was a great success story.